Hey guys, myself Sukant, welcome back to my channel Boost Your Knowledge. In the previous video we have learned some basic about paracetamol. Today in this video we will learn Different combination of paracetamol with other drugs and their uses. So don't skip the video it's gonna be very important. So let's get started. As PCM is one of commonly used over-the-counter drug used as antipyretic and analgesic. Mostly used tablets are Paracetamol 500 mg or 650 mg tablets. It reduces temperature. It is gastro-friendly. There is no intense excitement. So excellent and safe choice for acute and chronic painful conditions. It relief pain over 4 to 6 hours, postoperative. It is drug of choice for osteoarthritis. Indications are High fevers and headache Backache Osteoarthritis Myalgia or musculoskeletal pain A mild migraine In dental condition In dysmenorrhea or mustrule cramp in cold and flu symptoms. Now the combination of paracetamol with nemesilide. Nemesilide 100 mg and paracetamol 325 mg tablets. Indications are Sport injuries Osteoarthritis Rheumatoid arthritis Traumatic fracture Bursitis, tendinitis Ankylosing spondylitis Painful and inflammatory condition of ear, nose and throat. Next is. Paracetamol, 325 mg, plus ibuprofen 400 mg. Indications are. Fever. Painful and inflammatory condition of ear, nose and throat. Next is. Paracetamol, 325 mg, plus tramadol, 37.5 mg. Tramadol gives fast and sustained pain relief. There is no effect on platelets, no organ toxicity. It lowers the incidence of dry mouth, constipation, and appetite loss. Paracetamol offers synergistic effect with tramadol. Indications are dental pain, traumatic pain, post-operative pain, musculoskeletal pain. Next is PCM, 125 mg, plus methanamic acid, 15 mg, suspension. This combination is used by pediatrician. Indications are body ache, fever due to cold, injury, lowers temperature, relieves pain, controls inflammation, Provides lasting relief. For adult, dose is PCM, 325 mg, plus methanamic acid, 500 mg. Indications are Spasmodic Dysmenorrhea Useful in intestinal hypermotility. Friends, these are not the all combinations of paracetamol. Many more combinations are there in the clinical practice like Paracetamol with antitussive drugs. Paracetamol with many other NSAIDs like diclofenac, acyclofenac, etc. These all combination we will learn in their respective drugs. So guys, before ending this video, one important note I want to discuss. The US FDA, 2009, has recommended to reduce the amount of this drug in any single dosage form, tablets dot or capsule, to 650 mg in place of 1000 mg earlier limit and the total daily dose for an adult to 2600 mg in place of 4000 mg earlier. The Drugs Controller General of India, DCGI, has recently, 2011, issued guidelines to limit the amount of paracetamol per dosage form, single tablets or capsule, to 325 mg. In the previous video we discussed about the paracetamol, if you don't see that video then please go through that video, the link is in the description box. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.